Good morning, everyone. Welcome to 2022 Incarnation Daily Devotion. I'm Pastor CJ. May God's peace be with you, and may the Word of God work in you today. October 27th, Thursday, Psalm 119, verses 137 through 144. You are righteous, O Lord, and your judgments are right. You have appointed your decrees in righteousness and in all faithfulness. My zeal consumes me because my foes forget your words. Your promise is well tried and your servant loves it. I am small and I am despised, yet I do not forget your precepts. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness and your law is the truth. Trouble and anguish have come upon me, but your commandments are my delight. Your decrees are righteous forever. Give me understanding that I may live. Amen. My eight-year-old hands clung to the bright red Good News Bible as Mrs. Messer Smith taught my Sunday school class how to open to the Psalms in the middle of the book. I was tasked with Looking up a verse from Psalm 119, the longest psalm, I was excited to find that verse on my own and eager to read more about God's promises in Scripture. The psalmist proclaims about God, Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your law is truth. The word here for law is Torah, or teaching. By learning how to find and read scripture under the gentle guidance of my teacher, I grew into a deeper understanding of God's love for us and God's truth for our lives. While scripture is God-breathed, we have to inhale it in order to learn and grow in faithfulness. The teachings of God must become part of us, gathered into the storehouses of our mind, body, and spirit. This isn't something we can accomplish on our own. We need a community of faith around us and teachers like Mrs. Messer Smith who help others learn the teachings of God and delight in God's commandments. A dozen years after being in Mrs. Messer Smith's class, I visited her near the end of her life. As I held her hand across a hospital bed, I thanked her for teaching me about faith and inspiring me to love the exploration of Scripture. Even now, I praise God for her life and pray that I may love the promises of God enough to teach others to delight in God's Word. Let's pray. Everlasting God, we give thanks for the teachers who inspire us, and we pray that we will point others to your wisdom. Amen. Once again, thank you for joining this morning, and I hope to meet you tomorrow. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.